Hi, it's Andrea Dancing Star, and let's read cards. Let's read cards right now. Um, let's start with. Let's start with. Let's start with Sagittarius. Let's start with Sagittarius. Let's do Sagittarius. Let's read cards for the astrological sign of Sagittarius. What is going on with the astrological sign of Sagittarius? What's going on? Astrological sign of Sagittarius. What's going on with the astrological sign of Sagittarius? Okay. Ace of Wands. Fun. And the Two of Cups reversed. Okay, so it looks like a love situation didn't work out. Some kind of date didn't work out. But no fear. It's not going to get you down. You're just going to keep trying. Trying, try, try, try again. Wheel of Fortune reversed and Death, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're just kind of like, ain't nobody stopping you now. That's good energy to be in, you know? I mean, it really is. It's kind of like maybe you've had a run of bad luck. You're 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 changing that. You're not you're not letting that be your story. You're not getting like sucked into maybe a run of bad luck. You're going to continue to take action. 10 of wands reversed, emperor reversed. Okay, now it looks like there's some kind of masculine energy who um you know, maybe they were a burden and also maybe they were kind of a tyrant. Uh, maybe they just left, but all of the maybes, it's not bothering you anymore. You're not doing it anymore. You're not going to feel bad. You're not going to miss them. You're not going to wonder if they're going to come back. <sighs> and if they were kind of a tyrant or kind of a bully, kind of bossy, that's putting it very nicely. Um, you're not listening to them. So that's really exciting. Um, tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands reversed. I saw the Empress upright. Four of Cups. Okay. So it's kind of... You know, the Four of Cups is having a whole lot and not paying attention to it, not realizing it, not saying, wow, you know, like I have a lot and I'm really happy with it. Um, also, it's, it's kind of like ignoring gifts that the universe is trying to give you. You're not doing that anymore. You're seeing the gifts that the universe is trying to give you, you know. I feel like maybe some kind of a love relationship was kind of making you wear negative glasses and you were not seeing blessings. And there's definitely blessings that are coming in now that you're now that you've taken your negative glasses off. It's like monetary too. It's kind of like a new job or someone's just giving you some money. Maybe you win the lottery. You know, it's not a big lottery, but it's nice. Three of Cups, Hanged Man reversed, Three of Swords reversed. Oh, why did I say Three of Swords reversed? It's the Six of Swords reversed. I wonder why I said Three of Swords reversed. Three of Cups. Um, maybe there was a Three of Swords situation. Maybe there was a Three of Swords situation, like a third party situation with, you know, this past romantic burden and nobody actually really told the truth about what their part was in the whole thing you're not going back to it and you're not going to allow them to come back to you so that's pretty much all that matters <sighs> and the universe is definitely giving you some kind of an opportunity that's going to allow you to be in that energy where you will not let them come back. You will not go back to them. Five of swords reversed, the sun and the eight of wands. So kind of looks like a Leo is maybe talking to you. Um, kind of looks like maybe a Leo is communicating that they're sorry that they lied. 
they're sorry that they didn't tell you the whole truth. Maybe they knew what was going on with the situation. And they didn't tell you about it. They're sorry. They wish that they hadn't done what they did. Is the most important thing. Tell me more about this sun energy. Tell me more about the sun energy. Queen of Pentacles. She's got money. She's got money. Um, yeah, she's got money. Maybe she's the one who's giving you the money. Maybe she's the one who's giving you the opportunity. Fantastic. I mean, this is good. Totally. She's definitely like calling you, emailing you, text messaging you. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's really happy. It's also going to be very like abundant monetarily. Okay, so Ten of Wands reversed with the Magician reversed. Struggle is over. Not being able to make anything happen is over. It's a brand new opportunity. Oh, Seven of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Why? Why? <laughs> Let me get some more cards with that. Um, the high priestess, five of cups reversed. Okay. So, you know, <sighs> the devil reversed is behind the high priestess of right. So definitely, you know, this kind of like witchy woman, she's pretty silent I mean, is the high priestess you, Sagittarius? Is the high priestess you? Because I don't think that it's the sun energy with the queen of pentacles. I definitely don't because they're actively communicating with you. Um, I will say that there's definitely this like high priestess energy. Um, she's silent. She doesn't speak, but she knows everything. And seven of swords. I mean, it's definitely a card of of stealing, you know, he's definitely got two hands and he's definitely carrying five swords. So he's got three extra swords, you know, he wants, he's trying to get away real quick with it. So nobody will see him five of cups reversed the three of cups. Okay. So there's three cups knocked over here. Three things knocked over three extra swords. I'm going to go ahead and just say, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like you really just want to take a brand new opportunity and you really just want to take some success, some kind of excitement, some kind of positivity, some kind of propelling energy forward. Like I, it's, it's springtime energy. Like you want to go forward. You, the sun is shining you've been kind of discontent and also carrying a big burden for a while. <sighs> but it's, it's almost like someone wants to pass off their sorrow to someone else. Like someone wants to take some opportunity and in taking that opportunity, they want to pass off the sadness that they have to another person and they're not going to let them know that that's what they're doing. I'm going to try to be really positive here and I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to just believe in this reading that it is you Sagittarius simply wanting desperately to be happy and to be out of sadness and to be out of a grieving period. And I'm going to believe for this reading that you want to just take something beautiful and good and just go with it and run really far away from any of sa uh, the sadness. But it does kind of look like
it does kind of look like someone wants to pass off their sorrow, which, you know, sorrow sucks. Grieving sucks. But the thing is, it's all every, every, it's personal for every single person. You know, you can't just be done with it. You maybe could like distance yourself from it period for a period of time. You know, you may be able to like drink so much that you don't think of it. Um, but it's never actually really going away until you heal it. So I want to kind of like clarify the seven of swords. I want to clarify the seven of swords. I want to clarify the Seven of Swords. Okay. The Son of Cups. The Three of Cups reversed. Okay. So. Definitely all the things that I said are accurate. Sagittarius that I'm reading for. Definitely trying to move forward from some kind of sadness. That involves love. A romantic relationship. Most likely it was a romantic relationship where someone was seeing another person. I mean, I'm all I'm going to say is I kind of feel like somebody from the third party situation is maybe going to try to apologize to you. Um, it's your call. It's your call on whether you want to entertain their words or not. But it definitely looks like that's the person. That's the one who's trying to take. That's the one who's trying to take more than they deserve. Clarify the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. Ace of Swords. The truth. Yeah, but the truth is silent. That's the problem, right? Nobody's telling the truth out loud. There's people in this situation, this past situation that you're trying to get away from that do know the truth, but they're not saying it out loud, right? Right. Five of Cups reversed. Ace of Cups. Son of Pentacles reversed. Three of Three of Wands reversed. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's the truth about love and it's like no one's going to tell anybody the truth, actually, because she knows the truth, but she's not going to say anything because she's the high priestess. You know, she's just not. She's just that way. She's a mute. Um, okay, so the good news is, though, is that you're not really having to you're going to have a new opportunity you are getting new opportunities to move forward from this situation. That is the good news. That's all that really matters. All of this mindfuck bullshit from the past, let it just stay there because you're never going to know the truth. Okay? And you're going to move forward and you're going to have some success. You're going to have some abundance. You're going to enjoy some sunny days and there's going to be flowers and there might be a horse ride and you're going to enjoy yourself. You know, you're going to build yourself up again. Better. Anything else I need to tell Sagittarius? Anything else I need to tell Sagittarius? Okay. Um, I don't know who this King of Pentacles is. I mean, obviously he's married to the Queen of Pentacles. It kind of looks like, I don't know. It's, it's like, are you going to work for like a couple? Are they giving you a job? Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, a lot of Taurus energy though. Uh, it just kind of looks like he's a little bit standoffish. It looks like he's got his defenses up. It looks like he's not really wanting. 
it kind of looks like there's this situation where like the wife the queen of pentacles i mean she's definitely got her own money she can sustain on her own she could very well have her very own business and then her husband the king of pentacles could have his very own business too but it definitely looks like he's not wanting to to give very much he's not a very generous guy is what i'm gonna say she definitely is. She's going to take a chance. She's going to help you out. But the King of Pentacles, he looks pretty defensive. So, you know, maybe just kind of tiptoe around him. Or just don't even talk to him. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? King of Swords reverse. Four of Swords reverse. Okay, well, if you know a Libra, they're lying. You know, if you know a Libra, you, they're lying. <sighs> now I feel like I need to clarify that. <sighs> clarify the King of Swords reverse because he's kind of a big liar. Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Okay, okay. So yeah, the the opportunity that is coming for you from this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, just so you know, what I just said, I really feel like it's very accurate. About a husband, a wife, businesses, money. She can afford to pay you. la di da di da He's very defensive. He is very defensive. Guess what? Keep your independence in that situation. Take the money. Maybe don't run. You know, do the job. But don't keep healthy boundaries. Keep healthy boundaries. Keep very strong and very healthy boundaries in that situation because there's definitely someone who's trying to lie and there's definitely someone who is trying to like not let you have a good successful time. Okay, so this has been a reading for the astrological sign of Sagittarius. <laughs>